This is a story you think you've heard before, but you have never heard it quite like this. It is the story of one who worked hard and asked others to work hard for her. A story of how all that hard work almost undid the things she held most dear. Do you have to sound so dramatic about it? Oh, <clears throat> uh, sorry. I'll see what I can do about that. Anyway, where was I? <clears throat> right, right, hard work. Yes, life in this small little town of Ye Old Knothole, England, was difficult. And getting through the day-to-day -day required lots and lots of work. That's putting it mildly. We here at Town Hall are in charge of taking care of the whole town, and with pretty limited resources to work with. One of which is time, Mr. Cratchit. I would suggest you use yours more productively, rather than waste it on idle chatter. Right, Sally. Sorry. We've talked about this a thousand times, Mr. Cratchit. I am the mayor of this town. You will refer to me as Miss Scrooge. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Sally! Oh, and hey to you too, Rotor. Hey, Sonic. Hey to you too, Mr. Narrator. Oh, um, hi, Sonic. Welcome to the story. Enjoy your stay. I do believe I will. How's it hanging, Sal? I literally just told Mr. Cratchit. Yeah, yeah, I'm the mayor. Address me as blah, blah, blah. Can't a boyfriend call his girl by her first name? Why are you here? Merry Christmas, Sal. C christmas Mm-hmm. You know, comes but once a year and all that. I... I'd almost forgotten it was tomorrow. Well, now that you do remember, I can finally ask you for that day off I'd been saving. I'd like to use it for Christmas. With all the paperwork this holiday brings with it? Absolutely not! Oh, come on, Sal! It's Christmas! You used to know how to appreciate that! Christmas nothing! The work we do in this office helps this town to run! If we fail, everything falls apart! Uh, both of you, just get out. The workday's over, Mr. Cratchit. You can go home now, but I do expect you back here tomorrow for a full day's work. Yes, Miss Scrooge. See you around, Sal. Hope you have a good night's sleep. I'll be sure to let Tails know you said hello. Hmm. Yikes. That, uh, got a little more intense than I was expecting. Let's diffuse that tension by skipping ahead a few hours. Nighttime now. Scrooge remained in Town Hall, working well into the wee hours of the night, until at last she began to drift inexorably towards sleep. Until... <laughs> She beheld... A ROAST! Oops, sorry, my, my bad, got that wrong. <clears throat> I meant... <gasps> she beheld a ghost. What? What in the world? What are you? You mean you don't recognize your old deputy mayor, Jacob Snively? I impossible! Snively died years ago! I don't have time for your skepticism, Scrooge. You always were so stubborn. Then tell me, what brings you here this night? If you are who you say you are. I am here to save your soul from the fate to which mine has been condemned. In life, I was a ruthless taskmaster who strove for perfection in his work but at the expense of the very people that work was meant to protect. So have I been shackled to these chains in payment for my callous ways. The same fate awaits you, Scrooge, unless you find it in your heart to change your ways. I... I don't understand. You will, Scrooge, on this night. The one night when the world of spirits may interact with that of the living, you shall be visited by three spirits. Heed well their words of warning. 
or else it will be too late for you. For the love of all you hold dear, Scrooge. <laughs> Whoa, now that was spooky. Spirits? Ghosts? <clears throat> Nonsense. I'm just seeing things from exhaustion. Yeah, <gasps> that's what they all say at first. You're not Sonic. Very smart. I've simply taken the face of someone familiar to you to make you more comfortable for the trip. Trip? And where exactly would we be going? Not where. When. Huh? I... I know this place. This is Town Hall. But... but it hasn't looked like this in... In ten years. That is when I've taken you to. I am the ghost of Christmas past, after all. And there, on top of those books! That's Antoine Fezziwig! He was the mayor of Knothole before me, the one who taught me everything I know. Fe Mr. Fezziwig, over here! W what? We are only visitors here, Scrooge. Better simply to sit back and remember. Oh. Hello, my young student. I hope you're enjoying the party, we? Oui? So much! Everyone here is just so happy! But of course, mademoiselle. That is the point of leadership, after all, to protect those you lead and ensure their happiness. I promise, Mr. Fezziwig. I'll always remember that. Hm. Hey, Sally. May I have this dance? Oh, oh, Sonic, of course you can. And when you became mayor, you kept that promise for a time. I didn't know back then. I could never have imagined. Sometimes you have to make hard choices. Choices that people won't like, but that still have to be made. Whatever it takes to keep them all safe. And yet, what is safety without happiness? What does that... Huh? A dream, that's all. Just, just a dream. A bit of indigestion. I don't know. Seemed pretty real to me. Um, shouldn't you be preparing for the next ghost? What are you doing? Oh. Maybe... Maybe I did lose track along the way. Ho ho ho! What the? Oh man, here he comes. The ghost of Christmas. Present! Huh? Sorry, sorry. I did it again. I meant... Present! Ghost of Christmas present. Ho, ho, ho! Come in, and know me better, man. But you're coming in here, and I'm a woman. Ho, ho, ho! Then I guess I got to know you better. Okay, pal, listen up! I've had it up to here with you ghosts or spirits or whatever, and I- Ah, of course you have. And I can see why. You... you can? Yes. We've been distracting you from all the festivities. Oh, not again. Let us have a look at the festivities for ourselves, shall we? Oh, my stars. This is the Cratchit House. Why did you bring me here, spirit? I know all I need to about these people already. Is that so? Perhaps you should get to know them better. Work pretty rough today, Sugar Oat? No more so than usual, Bunny. Thank you for the tea, though. <sighs> I just don't understand. The way Sally Girl treats you. Driving you like a slave, ignoring our problems. What happened to her? She used to be part of our family. Uh, don't be too hard on her, Bunny. She's just under a lot of pressure, that's all. 
It can't be easy running an entire town. Maybe. But that don't excuse leaving us out in the cold. Is... is that what they think I've done to them? Ho ho ho! Perhaps we should go inside and know them better, ma'am. After all, the heart holds many surprises. It is nice in here. <laughs> hey, gang! Look who I found down at the schoolyard! Just like you do every night! Don't, Don't you know, know any, any other, other way, way to, to open, open a door? door? Welcome home, you two rascals. Have a good day at school, Sugar Fox. You bet I did, Aunt Bunny! We learned all about the seasons and hibernating and... <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I promise. Tails... Tails is sick? Dying, in fact. No, 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 no! That's impossible! I love Tails. If he was sick, I would have known! I would have realized! Would you have? So busy you were. So focused on the big problems. You lost all sight of such small concerns as a single child. Is it too late? Can he be saved? Yes, he can. But that power lies only with you. And what you choose. Huh? <sighs> okay, I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty creeped out right now. And now it's official. Are you the ghost of Christmas yet to come? No! No, please! Please, no! Spirit, please, please tell me I can change this awful future. Tell me that these are images of things that could be. That I could change these horrible things if I learn how to change myself. Answer me, spirit! <laughs> huh? Okay, I swear it wasn't me this time. Realizing that it was still only Christmas morning, Scrooge hurried as fast as she could to the one place she knew she needed to be. Merry Christmas! You get the day off, and a raise. And you can address me by whatever name you like. You and I need to catch up, my dearest friend. And then we need to get you involved in helping me run things the way I know only you can. Mm -hmm. And as for you, I will never forget you again, ever. And Scrooge was as good as her word. From that day forward, she renewed her efforts to govern with a warm heart, as well as an even hand, and she would never waver again. And they all lived... Happily ever after! Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed that video, please feel free to click on the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. If you haven't already, please click on the link below to join our Discord server! And you can follow me on Twitter, Patreon, and the Sonic Amino! 
Once again, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video. Happy holidays, Stargazers!